have more insight on this partial eclipse. We're bringing in right now Briley Lewis from UCLA, a doctoral candidate in astronomy and astrophysics. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, everything you're doing is so impressive. So thank you for even just taking the time out to talk to us. I see the formula right behind you and I want to fall down because it looks really complex. But we're talking about this viewing window. So first of all, have you gone outside yet? Did you see the partial eclipse yourself? Yes, I'm here at UCLA. So we have a bunch of people on the roof of our physics building right now using different telescopes and other ways of viewing the eclipse. So I already got out there right before this. Um, and you have a little under an hour left if you want to still spot it. So there's still time to go out if you haven't yet. So what is it like for you when you say that all of you guys went outside and you got a chance to, to glimpse, to take a glimpse at it? What was the reaction for, for all of you in that department? Yeah, it's still just really cool, even though this is something that we study all the time. It's, we study it because we love it, right? Um, and so it's still really, really cool to see, especially knowing that we are probably one of the only planets that this happens for. It's actually a really weird coincidence of the universe that our moon just happens to be the right size and at the right distance from us to completely block out our sun. Um, that's really rare, we would think, in the universe. So it's cool that we get to experience it here on Earth. So that is a scientific take on everything. However, why do you think people, just us regular folks, why do you think we're, we're all freaked out about it and so excited? And I also feel like I'm seeing communities kind of come together because of this big event. Yeah, definitely. Eclipses are something that humanity has been looking at for our entire history. Uh, thankfully, we know what they are now and we know when they're coming so that we don't think they're catastrophic, um, <laughs> but they're still really cool because it, you know, it's a reminder of our place in the universe and the fact that we are on this rock in space and we can see another rock in space crossing in front of a star. Like that's no matter what you're, no matter where you're coming from, that's just a really cool thing to see. I feel like it humbles a lot of people. We are just a little mm -hmm. speck in the entire universe. You are really impressive. You write for several scientific publications. Just curious, what got Thank you it. interested in this field and, and what are your goals long term? Yeah, so I just read a bunch of books about space when I was younger. I thought it was really cool. And once I started studying it in college, I kept going and I loved it actually because I love all the people that do science. Um, it's a really fun community. Um, and hopefully one day I'll be a professor somewhere in Southern California. Starting next year, I'll be a postdoctoral researcher at UC Santa Barbara, so still in the LA area. Oh my gosh, you are so impressive. Congratulations on oh, everything. <laughs> um, I hope you guys get outside one more time and we can't wait to touch base with you again. You're great. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Of course. Briley Lewis right there. Thank you so much.